Hey guys, welcome to part two of Love Letters from Maniacs. My dearest, you must know by now how deluded your memories have become. You call yourself by this name whence I have not heard once in my years and years of living. However, Jean, is the name I know. It's the name I love. A name I find most comforting solace in. Do you think I'm a fool? I would know my sweet Jean when I see her. I loved her just as I love you. That is because you are her. Come now, don't play dumb and try to escape me again. I had to run last time we met, don't you remember? That man came to your aid and drew us apart. Wicked, vile, cruel. He called me these repulsive names. My sweet darling, you know I am nothing of the sort, don't you? You've come back to me, my lovely Jean. I know you would return to my arms. And though you run, you can never escape our eternal love. It has beaten death, transcendent time, and I will forever hold you close as my own. Don't you fret, our love won't be lost by us being apart. Forever yours, Castor. My dear young witch, I hope this letter finds you well. I apologize for its delay in writing. I found myself in some hot water as, as of late, but I'm sure I'm figuring it out. I always do, don't I? But enough about me, that's not what this is about. It's about you. How are you? I know the spell you've been working on takes a lot out of young witches. I didn't tell you this before because I didn't want to scare you off, but this is a high level spell. There are witches who have been practicing twice as long as who have never been able to get nearly as far as you have. All of this to say you have such a amazing intact potential. If you keep studying and practicing the way you are now, there's no way to say just how powerful you can be. All of us to say you are so capable of anything you set your mind to. But I must warn you, the road is not easy. It is filled with twists, turns, and people trying to stop you from, from reaching your potential. Keep your head down, stay focused on your studies, and everything will work the way it should. Until then, I am always here to help you along the way. Yours and always yours, Agatha.
My dear, it's been so long since I last seen you, and I just want to check in and see how you're doing. I've been alright and I hope you're doing good as well. Taking good care of God's children just as he instructed me to do. However, I have been missing our fun conversations from all those years ago. In reality, I have been thinking about you a lot recently. Though years pass and situations change constantly, you are the one that still wise and attentive child that played with me all those years ago. Recently, I've seen all that's happened, and I want to let you know that I'm here for you. It may not be an, an easy time right now, but don't be afraid to reach out and talk. I'll always have some time available for you. If you like, you can always come and visit, and always find some arrangements to come and get you, if you're not able to find your own. I think you'll really enjoy your stay, and the people are very caring as well as understanding of other backgrounds. I promise you'll enjoy it. Hopefully you'll come and visit since I'd love to meet up once again. Let me know if you need help with anything, and I'll do everything I can to help you. I'll wait for your response. Yours, Joseph Seed. So Burroughs' letter never showed up. Um, I contacted the seller multiple times and they said they were going to ship it and then they didn't. And now they're just not responding. So no Burroughs letter, sorry. Thank you.